So I'm back with another one of my custom projects here. And tonight it will be a 124 scale replica of the Mad Max Interceptor. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I do custom action figures and uh, custom cardboard dioramas. But this is one of the ones that I have uh, that are a car. Well, besides my RC Rat Rod project. So I did a series of these cars back, uh, I would say, about 10 years ago. And that was before I was making YouTube videos. So a lot of the uh, behind the scenes footage got lost of me doing this or else I'd share it with you. But however, there is a website called madmaxmodels.com. I'll leave the link below in the description. And this particular one of mine is still in there. Uh, I listed it under Road Warrior Customs because to me, this one is supposed to take place between the first and second movie. So you can see that the uh, front end is still attached. And I have the uh, drums on here. But let me get rid of these drums real quick. Because this is after the fact that I built this. These are little depth charges. I just want to take them off. I just put them on there temporarily with some masking tape. But they're depth charges from my Cobra Hydrofoil and it just looked, it looked, the scale was perfect for this car. Now, like I said, if I made YouTube videos back then, I would have made a tutorial showing you exactly how to do this. But what I can tell you is the basic way of weathering one of these cars. And if anybody's familiar with the, uh, what is it? Adam Savage. YouTube channel called Tested. He likes doing little projects like this and weathering them. And you'll even see on his projects that the best way to weather stuff is with a couple of these colors. You got burnt umber and raw sienna. Also, I have some copper paint that I used for uh, the real heavy rust on any of the chrome parts that would have existed at one time. Let's start with the front end here. So the front end is, oh, I have some pictures. I'll put them in right here. You can see that this was originally a purple Hemi Cuda, which was a good donor for this um, particular project. Then I used the front end of a Camaro for the uh, front and I used these like bonding like um what do they call it uh bondo that they use on automotive repairs to to mold it into the front end and i used it for these rear uh fender flares that doesn't look it's not super good so here you can see some of the molding marks with that bondo but it still came out pretty good I just put some clear plastic from any package, like a toy package, blister pack that you get to make the front headlight covers. But later on, I found this awesome tape. I don't know if you can see it back there. I'm working on an Interceptor RC body too for my 118 scale RC car. And this is like an Avon hard plastic NASCAR. Uh, I don't know if it was for soap or something, but it says Avon there. But it's gloss black, but the tape here has these little lines on it that looks just like the Interceptor. And I put it on there. It fits that body perfectly. But I would have used it for this if I had it back then. Now for that dirt effect. Well, first the body, I spray painted flat black with an aerosol can, which is very easy to do and then for the dirt here what you want to do is you either want to dry brush with raw sienna which is the dirt color 
We'll use this first. You want to put your darker colors first and the lighter ones after the fact. And, and build your colors because you want it to be random. Because if you're driving through Broken Hill, Australia and get dirt everywhere, it's going to be random. I mean, there's going to be a lot more near the wheels and stuff like that. But you want to make it look natural. So you use a dry brush on that. Just you get a paintbrush and just get a little bit of paint and just keep blending it and keep blending it. And then for the splatter effect throughout the car, you want to get a toothbrush, wet it a little bit. And since this is acrylic, you can manipulate the paint afterwards. So you spray it and you can use a towel and smudge it around. It's really cool. And the more you do it, the better you just keep getting at it. Now, admittedly, the hood does not fit as good as I want to, and it's just too late now. When I first built this, I should have made the appropriate, like, clearing for it, but shoulda, coulda, would've. So, I will take the hood off, place it to the side. Oh, and in the original hood, you can see where the, the Hemi shaker hood scoop would pop out and I made a notch for the supercharger belt and the belt I actually made from a rubber band the uh, that's the original Hemi motor that came I know it's on a Ford motor but that's the one I used uh, the CUDA Hemi motor for the body but I custom made the air intake scoop and the manifold here there is two carburetors there from the um, actual model kit and I made these two little fuel lines to make it really authentic and with any chrome or metal parts I use the copper acrylic paint to really give it a heavy rust color the car interior still impresses me and I still can't believe I did this like 10 years ago but I took the whole interior like um, panel out Cut it in half of a hobby knife to make it uh, right hand driving. So you can see on the other side here, the driver's side and the steering wheel gauges, which for some reason I still have purple, but even the shifter, I put that little red like supercharger on off button. The seat I even covered with this extra black vinyl material I had when I was uh, fixing my motorcycle seat and I even put it in the rear there just in case any other times I want to add more stuff like cans of Dinky D or an Australian Sheepdog. On the back you can see I molded uh, this is a piece of plastic and I molded it using the Bondo to the roof the rear window has that splatter effect. Uh, then I put the other rear spoiler, which broken off a little bit in storage, but it just adds more charm to it, honestly. <laughs> Funny thing is, the taillights of the CUDA actually are pretty close to their original interceptor. The wheels, um, used copper once again to give it that really rust look and for now underneath well here's the side pipes this is made from you know the little pieces of plastic a model comes in a model kit that extra pieces i just cut it up and it has a tubular shape and the scale is pretty accurate for exhaust even modded the um oh the rear tires that's how thick they are underneath and they have that awesome late 70s early 80s tread pattern the front wheels spin the rear doesn't and this is all the underbody of the actual cuda but you can see that i made the exhaust actually go to the side pipes it doesn't really connect actually but you can see from the side it looks like it does 
The original exhaust, yeah, I, I couldn't remove it because it was molded in one piece. But the underbody's really easy to paint. You just dry brush it with a lot of brownish dirt colors. So that's a simple part. The roller rockers, uh, just like in a car, I used copper. You can see how I blended the colors there because they're usually the parts that will rust out first. If you want to do this yourself, it is so easy. Well, okay, you know what? To be fair, it's not that easy. Let me just say a few things here real quick. First off, if you've ever done a model car kit before, that gives you a great advantage. Second thing is, if you have any kind of painting experience, like using a paintbrush or using acrylic, you should have no problem layering these different colors of paint. And third, the most important part is, if you have inspiration to do something like this, there's no way you can fail absolutely no way you can fail if you're really into something like i love cars i love painting you'll be able to do it so just stick to that goal don't let it feel like it's super important paint is very flexible and just go for it i mean it's so, it's such a fun hobby and i really hope i can inspire someone to do a custom excuse me if this video is going longer than i expected i just really become a yenta when it comes to cars and custom painting i actually have other custom cars from this time period i did and trust me the videos won't be as long this is like my pilot episode for this new series or playlist uh, that i'm creating and I already got most of the backstory out of the way there. So once again, thank you for watching and have a good night. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.